Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you all the things that uh, I bought online. So, all of these are the things that I bought online. I'm going to link them down below or I'm just going to show you the price and the shop name. I just woke up because I received this when I woke up. So, I, I literally haven't even opened this yet. And it's the Chinese version of Windsor & Newton. Which, by the way, it's actually Windsor & Newton, but it was manufactured in China. And let's see what's in the packaging. Okay, so these are all of the colors. There's a lot of colors here. I'm going to read them all. Chinese white, lemon yellow, medium yellow, orange, vermilion, flesh tint, brilliant red, crimson, magenta, rose matter, violet, cobalt blue, ultramarine, blue lake, phthalo blue, permanent green light, sap green, verdian green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, raw umber, burnt umber, Pinese gray, ivory black. That's all the colors. And the rest is in Chinese. But I do guess that I can download an app where I can scan this. So let's just start. So we're going to open this. It's 24 colors and it's 10 ml. But it's a 12 ml. Liars. I'm just kidding. I like this. This is so cheap. It comes in so many watercolors. Okay. Let's see. So this is what it looks like inside of the packaging. I'm gonna get my scissors. Let's open this up. Stab it! Joke, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's remove this packaging. Uh, I hope we save Mother Earth if the world burns. I'm just kidding. I find it sometimes annoying when all the, when all the colors come in this type of packaging. I think it's a little bit annoying. I just threw it away. Okay, let's look at these. I'm gonna make swatches later, but this is what it looks like now. Okay, see ya. Okay, so these are the swatches. We're gonna start with the white. So I'm just gonna take it from the top. Time lapse now. Okay, now these are the swatches that I've got. So I'm gonna compare it now to the swatches that I've made. Obviously, I'm not really professional or color maker, so these are all improvised. Let's see. So normally they're all the same, except I think this one they're not as pigmented i've used a lot of concentration here it's not pigmented at all obviously my ink splattered all around it's my fault but still you can see the difference viridian green oh i actually like this it's a really pretty green so that's it for these watercolor squashes i'm probably gonna make my own little old um kind of painting later on the next is these work synergy of quality and affordability. I'm really disappointed at these. It's 200 GSM, but it's not as great. So I am going to go and be forced to make my own watercolor paper. Yes, I'm going to put these in a bucket and then fill it with water and then place in some paper in it so that I can make some paper out of it. I'm going to make a video on that soon. Okay, the next one. Okay, so the next one that I've got are these water brushes. You can feel, you can feel it. It's very cheap, but you can pop off the cap. You can also twist it, put the water there. And you can just squeeze it and then water will come out like so. Bitch, I just wetted my car. So the order just arrived, and this is my Tokyo Finds watercolor journal. It just arrived today, so yeah. Hey guys, so this is Lyndon a month later. I've got this Tokyo Finds 
watercolor journal. So here's what it looks like on top. I have here the pamphlet that it came with. It kind of looked like this and it came. So it was wrapped in some paper, but I threw all of the packaging away because you know, like COVID-19 and all. So, hmm, it's 300 GSM or grams per square meter, I don't know. It's 140 pounds, it's 20 sheets. That means like 40 pages to draw on. It's a cold press watercolor journal. I think the very first side of it is like very rough. As you can see, it's very textured. And the second part, which is this part, is very smooth. And that's great. So the other side is for lettering and the other side is probably for doing some watercolors. So here's what it looks like. It has this, it's kind of like this ringed, it won't focus. It would literally not focus. Okay, I'm sorry. It has this ring theme, the thing. And yeah, that's it for this Tokyo Finds Watercolor Journal. As you can see, it's very shiny. Looks like at the back. And I hope I can make more videos in this journal. I'm going to make a lot of it in the next one. But I'm going to show you all of the watercolor paintings that I've made while using the Windsor and Newton watercolors whilst I was waiting for this. So this is the watercolor journal that I got. As you can see, it's very small compared to the very big and bulky this thing. And, oh God, it's so annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all of the paintings that I did using the Windsor and Newton watercolors. So as you can see, this painting over here. And I also got myself this palette it's a very small and compact palette. I've been using this now. Yeah, that's a pot. I used these things because I couldn't afford the pans. They were just too expensive for how small they were. So I used the ball caps. So that's the palette that I used to paint with this. Let's look at some more. Okay, these are one of the ugliest paintings I made. And then this is where things get serious. You can see another painting there, another pen painting there, some other paintings that I made, another painting, another one. Oh, okay, this is from Taiwan. So it's a Taiwan type of watercolor journal. And this is St. Paul, I think, from London. And then we have here Manhattan, I think. And then we have here a church from Italy. It's a very expressive painting. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And then we have here Saint... I don't know. I don't know. Like Saint Ginger? I don't, I don't know. Like, But it's this church in Russia, if you don't know, like in Moscow. And to achieve like the 3D effects, I've placed all the street lamps or the street lights all around it at an angle so that it can create the illusion of it being a circular church in the middle of a square. There's a name for the square, but I did in fact copy this from a reference photo. So I'm planning on filling this up before putting in the Tokyo Finds watercolor journal. As you can see, it's very nice. It's very big. It's heavy, but it's actually nice. I bought it on Shopee. I don't know, but I sometimes buy on Amazon too, but it just takes so long. So, especially here in Quarante, or the quarantine, Quaranta days as the Italians call it. I don't know, so, yeah, that's it for today. Bye, I'm gonna make a lot more videos next. You don't know I made this oil pastel painting. Yeah, it's oil pastels.